So, last night, Bethesda finally added E.T. officially on Steam. This is not quite exactly the original version from 2003. They've taken the open source code and compiled it and added an E.T. key generator to it. Which means that, first of all, there is no Punk Buster, and second, it does not work with E.T. Pro because it does the whole client runtime check and stuff. But we can see that when we launch the game, Uh, it shows ET 2.6b on the console, and if we go all the way up, you can see generated ET key there. So this is a slightly modified version of the original, but as far as I know, they haven't done anything else except added the ET key generation though. So there's no improvements to anything. You still can't alt tap out of the game and whatever. Anyway, what I'm going to show you is how to make this ET installation into an ET Legacy installation, so you can basically just launch ET Legacy through Steam, through the Wolfenstein Enemy Territory uh, Steam app. So, first of all, we want to download ET Legacy Windows 32-bit binaries. And just once we've done that, you want to go to the Wolfenstein Enemy Territory entry on Steam, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse. And now we get to the uh, Steam folder. Uh, so now open up the ET Legacy binary files and just drag these into the Steam folder. It will ask you to overwrite a couple of files. There's uh, some like campaign cycles and objective cycles and stuff like that. Con just basic config files that ET Legacy ships that also ships with ET trailer ET. So it'll just ask you to overwrite those. It's fine. You can overwrite them. So, next thing you want to do is uh, you want to either delete or rename the et.exe and etdet.exe. I'm just going to rename these to like .bac files. It doesn't matter if you delete them, honestly. Uh, next up, you want to open up PowerShell, uh, run it as an administrator. And then uh, you can copy the path from here and go to PowerShell, go do CD and just change the directory into that. Make sure you put it in quotes because there are spaces in the, in the path. So now in PowerShell, you want to type new dash item dash item type symbolic link, then dash path et.exe dash target etl.exe and as you can see it will create a et.exe symbolic link that will point to etl.exe and you want to also do the same for the, the et dead and etl dead so that if you want to do like local hosting and stuff you will launch etl dedicated server instead of the original and so once that's done all you got to do is launch the game through Steam, and as you can see, it will launch ET Legacy. So, now you have ET Legacy installation in Steam. Uh, you can just launch it through here, and you get all the Steam overlay and stuff, and you don't have to add it as a non-Steam game or anything. Uh, something to note is that now, if you want to add launch options, you obviously add them here, so you can, for example, add log file to here if you want to. So now th these will be passed to the game as startup parameters. Another thing to note is that you might be wondering why we didn't just rename the EXEs. The reason is that you do not want your system to think that etl.exe is actually et.exe because for example, your graphics card drivers might have some optimizations done specifically for ET, the original game and ET legacy renderer is not the same as the original even though it looks the same it has the same graphics it is significantly different than the original so you know you do not want your graphics card to think that you're running the original game that's why we created the sim links one last thing is that you can if you want to you can do this on linux too but Keep in mind that the release that Bethesda put on Steam is Windows only, which means that even on Linux, you still need to download the Windows binaries for the game and you will be running it through Proton instead of natively on Linux. 
I have briefly tested it and it seems to work okay, but honestly, if you're on Linux, I would just recommend that you use the native Linux version of ET Legacy to play. So that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.